so well over this juncture this season. Only on the six. And a one touch right past him with a lot of pace. He's in really good in one-on-one -on -one situations tonight. So is Silla. Good on one-on-one. -on -one. Tried to go one-on-one -on -one with Tubbs. Lost that battle. Just to break out the other way. Good step by Tubbs. Tubbs allows him to have it. And he will square him up. Tubbs. Another brilliant tackle. Absolutely Hits. fantastic. Right. Lenar trying to turn the corner on Tubbs. They give you home field all the way through. Intercepted. White pushing forward, kind of stumbled on his footing around Burkhart. Odiambo coming back. A lot has gone through Burkhart on this left side. Hughes. Say that did not go out. They play on. O'Neill got taken. Ooh, surrounded. Lost the duel against Edwards. Baselli. The Boston College transfer, huge prospect. Right from the start here. We were debating for quite some time what, what color Wake Forest <laughs> would come out in tonight. I want to quickly get it up. Why not? They've got a lot of speed up there with Goombale. 100 wins at their current school with Bobby Muse. Well, another really creative guy with the ball at his feet. Good movement, good effort on the... Uh... Out and running and looking for Ruel. Yeah, set pieces, Ty. Set pieces all day, every day. Yeah, they got the free kick. And Tubbs did an excellent job. I think the defender does gain an advantage because you've stopped a shot. Richmond looking back post. Minor can't get there. Battle with Tubbs. That ain't easy. <laughs> I think Brad Sample stays as far away from any type Love of flippers it. as possible. Six one and strong. Georgetown won them. Akron won them. Clemson. Virginia. Richmond drives it in. Underguard keeps it in. Oh, and Tubbs. There will be no call. Uh, both have to, have to find out what, when that actually yeah. won. I, don't, I think it was before Marino got there. Nicely done by Bacuzzo. Kojima maybe had a chance at a rip there. Tubbs. Uh, the smartest of ideas on that pass, but Wake Forest still fighting. Tub I've been working on getting Duran Duran references into the game. On. Looking to find Vici and in does. He's trying to turn Tubbs. And what's great about the minutes here for Travis Smith Jr. is it's tough to get center backs minutes because the throw of the foot uh, was able to get the ball. Do something here. On a very, very soft touch into the box. On the laces from Mahalik. This is over the top. Rob Mitchell. See if either team has a goal in them. Bob and Yang trying to run this one down. Costabile is much more dangerous. And the guy's a bit tired out. Kojima run close to being the equalizer, but he did enough, even without winning. And this team really does go. Sydney Paris timed it well. ACC, always fun when the Tar Heels and the Deacons collide. Doesn't matter what sport it is. Tight quarters there, and uh, Wake Forest really worked on that in training last week. I mean, it was in shots seven to Wake Forest. And you lean into this Louisville team. Two new transfers. Yeah, I mentioned early in the broadcast that it seemed like Wofford had most of the... For Louisville is to just be problematic and slow things down a little bit. That guy... And Ponza controls... A single opportunity on the counter. Every time the ball... Passed, ...but it is able to connect with Ogara. And Tubbs, long ball. 
using the speed. They're both good. It's just a little bit of we got great goalkeepers, but we're looking for that one to make that very, very intense matchup. Gardner-Webb has played JMU well. Do not be surprised. This will be a hot take, but do not be surprised if you see Grand Canyon. Kojima just looks player. possessed when, <laughs> you know, he is 100% ready to get on the pitch. A student, a leader, and a baller. Long ball, looking for a while in. Champs of Syracuse Orange, as UVA had led since early in the second half at home in Charlottesville. And Take a look at this kid at one of the showcases. They saw him. They were sold immediately and made some huge things happen last season in their run to the championship game. There's Tubbs. Tubbs made a run forward and he stayed up there. Ernest Bawa coming in. A little rest for Quincy Armand. Really like what we've seen out of Bawa. Back in the app. It is an interesting change, though, from Carlos Samuano. You're just hoping that it is precautionary that maybe there's a quick little pickup of a knock and. There's Tubbs, really? really? Showing off some dribbling skills here? So deep to try and eliminate some of the threats that was Wake Forest working back into this game. They don't have that same sort of. Because then all of a sudden, at the collegiate level, you have to understand that there's usually. It is incredible the amount of patience that Bobby Muse has instilled in the players. Tubbs on him. We're under five minutes. Look, he, he started at Palm Beach Atlantic, which is. D2, who's an All-American in two, uh, 2021. Two goals. Pretty impressive stat line. Because they're trying to find seams to play through, but a lot is touch, play, it's side-to-side -side stuff. There's not a lot. Not on the field. Still makes me think about that, yeah. Unbelievable. Much to your chagrin. <laughs> and Wake Forest has done a good job all night of making those incisive passes, moving Louisville a little bit from side to side. Forest, and the fact that it's not even halftime is a boost for. This would be a monumental signature win for Louisville on the resume. Obviously, a whole lot of time. Plays it back to Tubbs. Him by the hair, that's for sure. But when they do, they've got to make the right decisions on when to go and when to hold up Garrett's secret of this back line. Well, and, and it looked like they were destined to get the first goal, but they're unique. There's Tubbs probing past the Flax. Seems to have really energized them. Indiana a bit out of sorts. Two phases of your possession aren't linking up. But this Indiana team, they could create. On the back end, keep an eye, by the way, an interesting switch here for Carlos Samuano on his unnatural side. Recognize that he's not a left-sided player. And the Tar Heels, when they have conceded recently, unfortunately for Riley Thomas, a lot has come through his area. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's his fault. Down underneath in the sixth spot, but if anybody can handle it, the true freshman can from Winston Salem. And then, what's the level of aggression from North Carolina, who's got the one goal lead, who's one of the best teams in the country defensively? Do you try and chase a second here, or do you feel like you have the ability to ch shut this thing down in its entirety? One would imagine there will be 15, 20 minutes and then sit back, but sh from Wake Forest, as opposed to being already set up to try and find a way to fight that battle. that are going to warrant that. You gotta trust the guys around you. The structure, Sears. We'll figure that out one day, convince all four of them. Kutch, only his seventh appearance on the season. Hasn't played since the December 3rd match. 42 on your screen in the middle there. Chasing down the ball.
Well, right now, everything is going to be a little bit more direct for Wake Forest, and you wonder if that's going to have to be the direction they chase the rest of the night with as high as North Carolina is willing to apply the pressure. Header, Mateo Levesque, 84th minute for Syracuse. Equalize again. Over the last two and three. Good defending, too, from I think it was Tatafu coming back to just. With Jose Kojima. Tubbs under control. And we're seeing some really interesting back and forth between them. In terms of just positioning, Mitchell. Aponsa. O'Gara. Shifts back in this Wake Forest team. He's got wide as the short option. And himself a stinging ball. Redirected. Tubbs out front. And yet another for the number 10 Demon Deacons.